During my time at Wharton, I frequently found that students would not take advantage of the essays to the best of their ability. They sometimes would end up repeating their CV throughout the course of that essay and not really taking advantage of the opportunity to talk about different parts of their personality and professional background. And especially in today's climate, where the word count has been shortened by a number of top schools, it's important to use that essay specifically to talk about the essay-related topics and not regurgitate facts from the resume. Another mistake that a lot of applicants make is waiting until the last minute to work on their application. Certainly, they put a lot of time in in preparing for the GMAT, and that's usually done pretty far in advance. But once passing that hurdle, applicants would sometimes feel that their GPA, their professional background, and their resume was enough to sort of carry them through the rest of the process. They did not give themselves enough time to really be reflective about the essays and the other pieces of information that were required by the schools. Additionally, making sure to give your recommenders enough time to present as much information as they could about the applicant was going to be important for them as well. A common problem of applicants to business school is not always directly getting to the point. They might see the essay questions and decide that they can answer perhaps tangential topics, but it's important to remember that when given an essay question that only has 500 words in it, you want to make sure to answer that question directly, succinctly, and to the point. Something else that we would see a lot of were applicants who would spend a lot of time on their GMAT, getting their recommenders up to speed, getting all the documentation they needed, but then making very careless and silly mistakes at the end of the day. So taking the time to really proofread your essays, making sure that you're naming the school that you're actually applying to, as well as catching any careless typos or grammatical errors, can really improve the quality of your application. I typically would encourage students to pretend the deadline is one or two days before it actually is and take the time to sit quietly and go through that document from start to finish, making sure it's a terrific representation of who you are. A common mistake is not customizing the application to fit the school. And when I was in admissions, we would frequently see students that had just basically cut and pasted their application essays from another school. It raised questions for us about how much research they had done, how much they understood the culture and fit of the school. My general word of advice would be to take the time to imbue that application essay with a sense of understanding the institution where you're applying, and that's going to make you a much stronger candidate. The last mistake that we see a lot with applicants is choosing recommenders who aren't your champions. It's really important to sit down with your recommenders to get a sense of how well they know you and to supply them with enough information so that they can write recommendation letters that speak clearly and strongly about your own interest and fit in a specific program. For more information and tips on applying to business school, please check out our website at www.fortunaadmissions.com.